are so close and they move around so quick it's really hard. Good morning again. So the plan this morning is going to get outside. Um, we've we've tried the hide in the in the original setup place, which was just outside, um, put between the two wheelie bins, so it was hanging. So we're sitting behind it. Um, but what the plan is today, I, I'm going to try and get some some low level shots and and, and some of the shots as well. But um, what I thought I'd do is take the um, take the camouflage net outside, and rather than string it up. Um, just going to lie on the floor, lay it over the top of me and see how close the birds will get to me. So uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we should get some good shots by doing that. Um, you'll have seen some of the things we've developed in the garden so far. So you know, we've got the bird feeders up now, we've got the bird bath and um, of course we've got the, um, we've now put the uh, natural pieces of wood up as well. So what I'm going to put myself quite close to the pieces of wood um, so we can just see um, how close the birds will get, how close I can be um, while I'm while I'm filming from underneath the camouflage net. So, so let's go and see how that gets on. Oh, just have some breakfast first. So yeah, one of the things we're finding is it's pretty difficult under this camo netting um, with all the strings, you can see all the strings around it so it can make it quite difficult to actually uh, keep untangled uh, everything just gets tangled in the microphone, the leads, uh, the camera so it can be quite difficult at times um, but yeah, working really well with the birds uh, the birds seem don't seem scared of it um, the blackbird's been coming fairly close um, and actually been feeding in front of us so uh, I just got a collared dove just uh, took off of there but um, but yeah seems uh, seems quite good um, and getting that nice low angle so we can 
hopefully blur out the foreground, blur out the background and get some nice images. So we'll keep going and see what happens. How daft do I look? The neighbours could see me now. Oh, they'll probably get out. A really interesting time just photographing the blackbirds. It's quite interesting the way they wander around. And as they go, they actually um, listen for, for worms. You can see them put their head to one side, to the ground, listen, listen for the worms, pinpoint where they are, and then they dig them up. Haven't quite caught them catching the worms yet, but we're going to keep trying and see what we can find. You can hear the starlings in the background as well. The starlings are quite active this morning. I've actually been mating on my nice stick I've put up. So that's good. But do feel at home if that's happening. So the blackbird's just on the ground in front of us again now. Just moved to the left a bit so it's hard to get at. But I think he'll come back. got some really close-up shots of the blackbird so I'm hoping they're gonna come out uh, really I've got to try to get some video as well but it was so close and they move around so quick it's really hard so it must have been just about I don't know four feet in front of me I think it might have been even too close for the camera to focus but we'll get, see what happens got some great worms in its mouth as well so that'd be really good if they come out Absolutely awesome this morning. If the neighbours are watching me, they'll think I'm absolutely crazy. Like the Aunt Rick have a flashback. But we've had all sorts. We've had the dunnock, we've had pigeons, we've had the starlings, and we've had the blackbirds coming so close. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Couldn't wish for more. So, 
I'm going to be trying this again. Um, been fidgeting a lot, trying to get everything in place, get everything sorted this morning. So, uh, so it's not been ideal. But yeah, even then, the birds are still coming round. So it's been really good. So um, yeah, you can't beat it. Yeah, that, I love that low angle on the birds. Get right here, and that black bird with the worm in its mouth. I mean, if the images come out, that will be absolutely stunning. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that when we get back in. Well, that's going to be about it for me for today. Um, yeah, really great morning. Um, absolutely superb. Good breakfast to start off with. Um, absolutely amazing to watch these birds close up. So the garden's really starting to take shape now. Um, enticing the birds in. Um, so we've got the uh, wooden post there, which is a nice natural perch for them as well. So we're going to get some more images on that. I haven't got many images on that yet. Um, but we'll get a few more. So, uh, yeah. So look forward to what's coming up. Um, hope you like it. Uh, follow me on what I do. Um, and if you like videos, please click a like on the button below. Don't forget to subscribe because, you know, there'll be more coming. And while we're all staying at home, I'll try and bring you something of interest. Um, a few different things I've got lined up as well that... Uh, might be interesting. Uh, if you're up for a quiz, I might even have a quiz for you. So, yeah. Got some goldfinches and blue tits at the moment. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you to it. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. And catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.